1948, uh, I was able to get a sub 20 minute run December of 2022. Um, and yeah, even the, the oldest time for 16 star, which was an hour and a half, has remained uncontested to this day. Oh, okay. And also, we're going to have an interesting thing here. We are going to be doing the Lakitu skip right at the beginning to save a bit of time. It should save you around 10 seconds in the run. And we start this run right off with that. The top trick. Yep. Yep. Let's, let's see if we're going to talk to Lakitu today. He's your best friend, right? Missed it. Not a big deal, though. That's all right. He wants to know why we're using a drum kit. <laughs> <laughs> now, speaking of using a drum kit, I had a chance to use this a little bit before the actual event. And I will say, as somebody who uses alternative controls, this is like nothing I've ever seen. It is extremely <laughs> difficult, and the velocities and the ways that you have to hit the drums is intense. It's constant. It's not just holding a button. You constantly have to roll, and you constantly have to strike the drum at the right velocity to get actions to happen. The fact that you've gotten to get it to work so fluently is a miracle in and of itself. Oh! Let's go! Nice. Oh. Awesome. <laughs> okay, I was nervous for that one. <laughs> That's a tough trick, too. Let's go. These tricks are already tough with a regular controller. <laughs> yep. And that's the of our bomb clip right there. Oop. All right. If you guys saw Mario Twitch a little bit. I actually have two modes on the drums. The first mode is uh, regular mode, and then toggle mode, which lets me do BLJs and Bowser throws. Oh, yeah. So right there, I accidentally toggled it. So during the run, I have to keep track of like what I've hit so far. No. Now this is going to be our next skip. This is going to be where we do cannonless. And essentially, there's normally this star that you have to get by using a cannon to break a wall. In this case, we'll be looking for a texture on the rail here to see if we can get in the right position. And this will allow us to get the star right here. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastically well done. Oop. But so one of the really cool things about doing a run like this is that there's not really any guide that's been made for this. <laughs> yeah. This was something that, um, that CZR and their uh, programming partner put together. Uh, Onisaurus, I believe it was. And they put together this signal essentially using a TAS TM32 that essentially allows you. Woohoo! Sorry. That is, no, you're good. <laughs> that essentially allows you to uh, put or translate MIDI signals into N64 signals that allows you to connect this to the N64 and original hardware. It's really fascinating. Okay, I'm assuming we're going for the, the king here. Oh, jump was eaten there by the, the, the stairs. Well, we got back up stretch, so good. And while we do this, do we want to get some donations? But that'll be a wahoo for me. <laughs> Lindsay sending in $50 to PCF saying, so many awesome runs tonight. Hoping we can get to 700K before I got to hit the hay. Good luck to all runners and let's get that cosplay. $10 from Lee Cario, who says, this goes out to CZR. I am so proud of you, bro. It has been a treat to watch you, grinding to lower your time, getting better with your drums, and getting better with every playthrough. Me and my coworkers are cheering you on. Let's go, CZR! Woo! Thank you, thank you. And there we go. Thank you for reading out those donations. And now we're coming up the next area, the Cool Cool Mountain, I believe. Uh, but yes, it's looking to be a fast run indeed. One wall kick. Oh, the angle's a little tough. Nice. Fantastic. <laughs> Accidentally hit one of the rims there, so I had a wonky angle. 
but it worked out. Now, one of the really, really big challenges in doing a run like this is the fact that you have to constantly keep momentum during this entire run. And you'll find that this is going to be especially apparent as we get in towards the later part of the game, especially against characters like Bowser in the last throw. It is a constant struggle to keep yeah. up that pace. Wait, Bowser? <laughs> You see, other runs have swag strats. We have swag beats. <laughs> All right, are we going for swag too? Now, you, you've said you've done, you said you've done Super Mario 64. Well, yeah, I don't know what the route is the same with the drums. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, what, what, what do you think is harder, DK bongos or drums? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, depends how many DK bongos you use, I would say. With the drums, you have a, lot, a little more inputs, at least. The DK bongos has almost nothing. I did this on a steering wheel one time, and it was awful. <laughs> 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 With the DK bongos, trying to get like Bowser, the Bowser spin going in a, free, in a like circle. Very nice. Good job rescuing that penguin. That penguin's happy to be back <laughs> home. All right, wall kicks will work. Nice, good kick. And right into the start. Good stuff. Now, one of the interesting things is this all started with Zelda Ocarina of Time for CDR, and it has been used for a whole host of games. Uh, not just this, and I believe CDR holds over 86 records in different categories. With drums? <laughs> with, oh, with drums. drums. Yes. <laughs> a lot of those are single star in Mario's. No, okay. So I dissect it, you know, the star itself and try to set a really good time. But yes, 86 at this point. Are we getting the right points or? Not today. Okay. Yeah, so we need the key so we can go to the basement. Uh, we're doing a 16-star speedrun, so the goal is to get 15 stars as soon as possible so we can get uh, MIPS, and MIPS is going to be used to sequence break the game. Yep, MIPS is going to allow us to essentially clip through two different doors, a wooden door and a 30-star door that would normally be a gate towards your progress. And this is what makes the run possible in the first place, to do a 16-star run. Super clean. Good stuff. Yeah. Dark World, very scary level. Here, next. How do we spin Bowser? <laughs> so, super smooth. <laughs> that is very satisfying to watch. <laughs> Now, one of the really cool things, and I think my favorite thing about this entire run, is that if you take a look and you can see CDR's four drums in front of them, uh, these drums, you actually have two separate sets of controls. You have the yellow buttons of the N64 control and also your analog stick. But if you don't press in the center of those drums, you will not get the analog stick. And if you hit the rim, you end up using or changing the camera angle, yeah. which is insane. Um, but with that, would they, we like to get some more donations? Absolutely. We are flying towards that 700K. $699,171 so far, thanks to people like Sushi Elemental, who sent in $25. Two drums and a cymbal fall off a cliff. Put them. $50 from Captain Clayhab, who says 700K hype. Ten dollars from Jared to PCF as a symbol of how much I'm enjoying CZR and the drums. Winky face. And one thousand dollars with no comment from anonymous, but that generosity speaks for itself. Amazing. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Well, we are we're getting so close to seven hundred thousand. That is amazing. Oh, the stage is a mess. <laughs> the camera angles. The backups here are really difficult. 
Are we going for the bird? Okay. Yeah, we're, we're going to get a second chance at the talent star. It's going to look really cool when he gets the bounce. All right. So we're trying to go to the first pillar as fast as possible to catch a cycle of the Shy Guy approaching. And then with the height from the Shy Guy, we're trying to hit the, uh, the bird to get the star. That looks really good. Yes. Just like that. Ooh, that was a little scary. <laughs> that was. I'm liking what I hear of those wahoos. Keep it up. Keep it up, everyone. Keep it up. Now, if memory serves correctly, Uh, I think we're getting two stars here. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, just red coins. Just red coins? Yeah. This is a beautiful lava land. Uh, as the name says, lethal. Uh, you can see diagonals are a challenge here. We got it. You know what's a wahoo from me? We just raised $700,000 for the Prevent Whoa, Cancer Foundation during this amazing speed run. Thank you so much to everyone. Let's hear a big wahoo from the crowd. Wahoo! <laughs> Fantastic. All right. I think we're aiming for the start. It's up there. Oh, so smooth. Lucky. Good stuff. Good stuff. Not the hard one. So easy to bonk. So, so many angle changes, yeah. Yeah. All right. The hardest start in the run. Definitely. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, we got to make sure we get Toad before 15 stars, because if you get him as the 15th, Mips doesn't spawn. And I believe now we're going to Mips, correct? Well, two more stars. Two more stars. Two more. Yeah. That's right. All right, watch for rolling rocks. How many A presses? A lot. A, a lot. <laughs> I believe the answer is two and a half. <laughs> What's a half press? Oh, no. It'll, it'll oh, take me about 12 hours to explain it to you. I have 12 hours. All right. Nice. Last one. I'm assuming. Nope. Oh, sorry, I was going away. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm assuming we're doing the wall clip. Mm -hmm. Elevator. So I actually haven't seen a full run, but I'm assuming we're gonna see some clip using the elevator. Maybe even a triple jump. No triple jump. No triple jump. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, the light. Yeah, this is a very beginner-friendly strat if you're just starting out with a regular controller. <laughs> and that brings us to star number 15. All right. And a beautifully executed jump right there. And this is the nip skip. Essentially, we we'll let that rabbit... We got the MIPS back up. It's no problem. We're just going to take our time right here. <laughs> you drum smarter, not harder. So essentially, we're not going to grab that star. We're going to continue past it. We're going to continue to this wooden door right here, which we're then going to clip through. This will allow us to access the next door, which is going to be a 30-star door that we can then go past. Nice. That would otherwise gate our progress. That's number one. We have to do it once more. Uh, one more try. There we go, and we're in. And this is why it's a 16-star speedrun, because we need the one star in DDD to unlock Fire C, and Fire C is required to get to the top of the, the castle. Can we just agree that this is the most relaxing music in a modern game, <laughs> period? It is iconic, for sure. Maybe you have time for a donation here. Sure, absolutely. We've, we've got a very relevant one here. We've got $15 from Bowser. 
He says, knock off that racket over there. I, honestly, I love this. thing is making the swimming harder. I love that the drum beat here is like <laughs> relaxing just like the music, even if they're not at the same tempo. Okay. We've got $16 from Jolie Bean. As a drummer and a wannabe Mario 64 runner and a logical person, this is one of the best things I have ever seen. <laughs> and $25 from Dr. ZoMG PhD saying, dude, I am hogging at this run. <laughs> Yahoo! Woohoo! All right, fire seat. Almost reset the level out of habit. <laughs> Mario's a little bit burnt there, but that's okay. We we were just in the dire docks. We'll take another dip later. And oh, the bully's gonna get you! No! Oh. <laughs> oh. <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Do the stage. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of power here because I know the next time will be the one. $100 from Zero Z Shadow saying, I woke up at 3 a.m. to see the Mario Drum Percent run, and this is amazing. Now, this part is very tricky because it's a lot of precise timing with a lot of lethal areas that can just murder you if you mistime it even a little bit, as you've seen. But luckily, CZR seems to have this on tap, and... Whee. Yeah, these jumps make me nervous. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I could never perform these jumps. I think I maybe was able to oh. do a few jumps. Easily making that cycle, though. That's fine. Just gonna recharge on the heart. Now, one of the things about this is when uh, when we were doing the setup before this, it was really, really difficult to get Mario to change. <laughs> oh, this always scares me. People always do this. It's so risky. And like I said before, Keeping this momentum with Bowser is extremely hard, let alone timing. <laughs> All right, it's time for the BLJ. How difficult are they on drums? Um, they're generally easier to do on, drum um, on drums than on a controller. Yeah. If you know how to play drums. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, you'd be surprised how consistent from the runs of CZRs that I've watched. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you can definitely mash really fast with, with two drumsticks. Everybody ready for our uh, favorite staircase? We don't even get to see it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good luck. To catch. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There, there we go. <laughs> CZR dropping the bass for everyone. <laughs> now, one of the things I will say that's incredibly hard about doing any alternative control run is that you have to sacrifice buttons, movement, cameras, and more when you play a game like this. Getting this to work there fluidly. It is. Yep, we're, we're up there. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. But getting this to work fluently is extremely difficult in and of itself. And there we go. Oh, oh no. The, the slide, yeah. Mm -hmm. And 
Can we read out some donations? Uh, go for it. My pleasure. $50 from Tavon to the Revenge Cancer Foundation. Watching CTRs run while eating my burger reminds me we need that Burger King cosplay. We are almost 90% of the way there. Over $9,000 to that $10,490 goal. Please keep it up, everyone. $50 from Ziku. This is nuts. I can't believe what I'm seeing here from CCR. I, I think everybody's saying that in that particular tone, too. $100 from Schma saying, now this, this is my tempo. Nice. That's another no, that, that, was that part is about. really tricky because yeah. you have to keep holding backwards on the stick to not make a dive in the kick instead. And that was just flawless. Oh. Oh. Very nice. All right, final bell time. All right, here we go. Wait for the blue flames here. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a backup here. I'm gonna wait for him to run towards me. Then I can get him to hit the bomb. Ah, sometimes he doesn't want to. Yeah, he has a 50-50 chance to run or not. Oh my gosh, that blue flame. <laughs> <laughs> that thing had your number. And my coordinates. And there he goes. I got the backflip into a grab. We can only do this twice, though. On the on the third, there is uh, we're not close enough for that strat. Ah, come on, Bowser! Run! He he just wants to jump. There we go. Oh, that was that was so close. <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> no one saw that. And one more. One more in front of us. Far to the right. I'll say this: Bowser's got mad hops. <laughs> All right. That's it. Yeah. And <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> and we got time coming up on the star grab. And time. There we go. <laughs> GG, that was such a good run. <laughs> well done, CVR. <laughs> Great showcase. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot of